one friend who likes to creep you out by bending their thumb all the way backwards or putting their leg up in their neck or creepily crawling out of a well putting their legs over their arms and stuff. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Samara. People often refer to these abilities as being double jointed, but what is really behind these disturbing party tricks? Here are three facts about being double jointed. There is no such thing. Sorry to quash your hopes so soon in the video, but the term double jointed is a lie. You can't actually have double joints or triple joints or quadruple joints. People with the abilities to be related to being double jointed actually have hypermobility or hyperflexibility. More often than not, this flexibility is due to how the joints fit together, allowing for further movement than other people. Hypermobility occurs in between 4 and 13% of people and is most common in your fingers, elbows, knees, or vertebrae. And it's actually more common in women. Hashtag girl power, y'all. You have to be born with it. Maybe she's born with it, maybe it's hypermobility. Well, you can definitely practice flexibility, for instance, in that insanely hip yoga class you've been going to lately. Hypermobility is usually defined by being able to do movements that are anatomically impossible for other people. Your joints simply have to be of a different shape to allow for extra movement. And you can achieve that through doing downward facing dog over and over again, no matter how much you try. For instance, in a ball and socket joint, the socket can be a bit more shallow than usual, resulting in a wider range of motion. That's not to say that flexibility can't be trained. Contortionists, for example, maintain their incredible poses through muscle strength and strong tendons and ligaments. They don't actually require their joints or spine to be shaped in any different way. Though natural flexibility is a plus, most people can be taught a range of basic poses, including back bending and front bending. A key part to training is vigorous stretching, warming and loosening up your muscles, and taking it a little bit further each time. It can be dangerous. Bending your thumb a little bit further or twisting your elbow usually doesn't hurt if you have hypermobility. However, it can prove to be quite dangerous. This is because a flexible joint is not quite as stable as a regular joint. Because of the extra movement the shape of the joint allows, your muscles actually need to work harder to stabilize it. This means it takes more energy for the body to do certain movements as it's focusing on stabilizing itself. For instance, I have slightly overextending elbows, and if I fully extend them while I'm doing tricep dips, I'm not quite putting as much energy into the movement as I am to stabilizing myself. This can lead to more pain and fatigue experienced by professional athletes. The 2012 paper from Mark C. Schaper of Amsterdam's University of Applied Sciences showed that hypermobility was an athletic disadvantage to professional dancers. While it may seem the extra movements is aesthetically pleasing in performance, Schaper's research associated hypermobility with lower muscle strength, lower submaximal exercise capacity, and decreased walking distance, as well as a higher chance of anxiety and depression. We like bending backwards to answer your questions, so leave us a comment on what you'd like us to make a video about next. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.